Okay, welcome back everybody. So I just pulled the hay baler out. I got it hooked up and after looking on the manual I think I figured out why my needles aren't moving and that's because this piece here is supposed to be above the wheel and so it won't let it trip. So I don't know who put it like that but we're gonna switch this around and then hopefully we'll get the timing right but that's been the whole problem the whole time so I'm gonna switch this around. Oh, there we go, there we go. Okay. So now, there we go. That's what we want. Then that'll trip. And it should come back down. Okay. Let's fire it up and try it. Okay, I think we figured it out. Oh yeah, working now. All right, now that we have that figured out, we're probably gonna have to test it tomorrow because I have a tractor coming this morning and then I gotta go to work. Plus I'm, I'm gonna need some more diesel anyway, so we'll go ahead and, and try to test that tomorrow everybody so it's the next morning uh, the tractor was delivered I'll be doing a video of that here soon uh, but in the meantime we're trying to get this hay done and so I've hooked up the baler again and uh, we're gonna try feeding uh, some hay into the front of the baler here and see now that we got the needles uh, tripping we want to see if the knot tires work the knotters work and then uh, See if we can get a nice tight bail out of there. For some reason it's not tying, the knots aren't tying, so let me go look and try to figure this out. We'll try to come back. We're just going one step at a time. We're on the last step, so. Okay, so what I did, it, it looked like the knotters were trying to tie knots. They were all bunched up, so I took them out and then I sharpened the cutters in the knotters. So we're going to try that. Hopefully that works. That's not good, okay. Oh, that's knives on the knotters needed sharpened so I filed them and made them razor sharp got the old knots that it was trying to tie out of there I think we're ready to bail hopefully tomorrow morning okay so I mowed this hay Sunday afternoon this is Tuesday morning and if you look here the top is nice and dry but you pick up that's still kind of green so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna get the rake 
and I'm gonna flip it over. I'm not gonna put it in windrows yet. I'm just gonna flip it over and uh, just give it a light rake and then tomorrow morning we should be ready to bail. Good morning everybody I'm up here early I'm checking on the, the field and getting things ready looks like everything's gonna be good to go we've got to get it in before this afternoon we got uh, some severe storms coming this afternoon so my family's coming down I'm on afternoon shift too that's what's making it tough my family's gonna come down they're gonna be here at 10 and by then I want to have the wind rows done and then hopefully not too much longer after they get here get the baler hooked up and start baling. This time around, we're gonna have to use my dad's utility trailer and we're gonna try to use my truck because my trailer that I bought, I haven't even started on it yet. So I, I still have to do all that. So we're gonna, we're gonna make do with what we have, but the main thing is we're gonna be baling hay together as a family. And this time we get to include our kids and uh my nieces and nephew and then hopefully next time we'll have my other two nephews with us too i'm really excited about getting the whole family involved and uh my grandparents are supposed to come too so it's, i think it's going to be a good day
Roll it, roll it closer, Kaylee. Oh, it's going that way. Hey. Tell me when. Good job, girls. Going back, we can put a few more. All right, everybody, so it's a couple days after uh, we bailed hay. I had to work that afternoon, then I had to work a double yesterday. But we did it. We got our first uh, cutting of hay pretty much done. Uh, what happened was I had about two more windrows to get, and uh, for some reason those push pins on the clutch, dogs, whatever you want to call them, they went in and they're seized up and they won't come out and it's looking like it's going to be a job for me just to get in there to figure out a way to get them to come back out with the spring so i gotta work on that it's not a nothing's broke it's just it's been sitting outside for who knows how long the baler has so i just have to get it uh free again <laughs> the good thing is we did learn a lot and you know i learned uh, a couple of my wind rows, they were kind of heavy. So next time I'll, I'll be more careful with that. And now we got like a system of which direction to go. And that field, it is my best field for making and recovering the hay. And the absolute main thing of it all that makes me happy is the family got together again and the kids enjoyed it. They had a great, great time. We all had lunch together. It was just a nice family project. And I look forward to sharing it with uh, my other two nephews as well. They weren't able to make it that day, but we're gonna be doing it again. So. so my dad told me that we probably were close to 70 bales, uh, but there's not 70 here because they told me, I didn't realize it while I was bailing because I was busy with the, a sheer bolt and then with that clutch not uh, engaging. But they told me that sometimes when they picked them up, they were falling apart. So we need to tighten up the, the hay bales next time. But uh, there's probably at least, at least 50 here. So pretty good for our first run, but uh, we can definitely do better. I'm pretty happy overall with our first try with that hay baler that sat outside for probably a decade. Who knows? But uh, yeah, we're going to be... Working on the hay baler, uh, I got the new tractor now, and then uh, we got to plant pumpkins sometime. So we're gonna be busy this weekend coming up, but that's how we like it, and I'm pretty happy with the first cutting of hay and our first run. So be sure to stay tuned, and uh, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.